Some of you are not happy that I installed a Windows and a Linux on an old 2010 MacBook. So I bought an installer for the Mac OS X El Capitan to see what the fuss was all about. New SSD installed, El Capitan installer plugged in, and let's get started. Press the power button, hold down the option key, and wait for the boot options to appear. Then choose the installer and wait for the options to appear. Just click next, 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 next. Oops. The new SSD isn't in the options, so let's go back to Disk Utility. Let's first format the new hard drive by clicking on Erase like this. Then let's go back to Installing, and there it is. It's pretty straightforward with a lot of waiting time. Happy to note that it's a success. Thankfully, buying the installer wasn't a waste of money. Happy to note as well that Safari seems to be updated on El Capitan, and I can still use iMessage. Sadly, El Capitan is no longer supported by Apple, so a lot of the apps on the App Store won't let me install. So for part 2, I'll be upgrading this to High Sierra. 